I'm Ashley Hennessy. I'm a abstract expressionist artist from County Leash and I also do digital art. I suppose I would have always been kind of a bit of a an outcast, a bit of a daydreamer, never really kind of fit into a mould. Um, and I suppose there's a time there in secondary school where I, um, just the subjects weren't kind of suiting me and then I decided to do art because it felt like maybe I could express myself a bit better. And um, so yeah, from there, from, yeah, I suppose around 14, 15 is when I kind of really felt that I wanted to explore this and see. Um, and then yeah, headed off to art college when I was 17. Um, hadn't a clue off on the train to Galway on my own and it was the best experience. Um, I think nowadays if a 17 year old was told there to head off, you know, it would be a different type of, I think it was just at the time I had a lot of freedom and so it was back then really and I guess it was always that question of like, you know, trying to find what a, kind of a language that the way I was feeling, you know, and the world around me and just trying to kind of express that and that's through art is where I found it made most sense. So I think an artist's job is to bring the unseen into the scene, which means to bring their ideas, their concepts from their their being into reality and in whatever form that may be through the arts. Um, so music, visual arts, poetry, dance, and it's about being authentic and kind of keeping true to yourself at all costs. And that's hard in modern society, but it's I think it's very important. I kind of, I do really enjoy art that kind of has an, an emotional kind of connection. So um, I'm very much kind of interested in abstraction, which is very much a stream of consciousness, consciousness type art, which you're very much in the moment and it's very spontaneous and intuitive. Uh, but I also kind of like earth-based art, which kind of the elements and um, my own kind of view on, it's never kind of literal, it's never kind of what you see in front of you, it's kind of my imagine, my, <clears throat> yeah, I suppose my, my version of what nature is. So it's kind of, um, yeah, it's quite playful and quite fairy-like, um, ethereal would be the word I describe some of my work. And then, um, yeah, some of the darker stuff, I think definitely is more emotion based and trying to work through processes in my mind. And it's kind of like um, the whole thing of bringing the unseen seat to, you know, to reality um, and a lot of kind of therapy based work, too. Yeah. So it's a big combination of me. I suppose it's like an inner dialogue. Um, so it's about shapes, it's about forms. It's, I suppose, you know, I would have a technical um, from college, like, you know, about all the, the, the basics and um, principles of what makes a good painting. And I think that, that, you know, that carries through, even if it's a portrait or a landscape or abstract art, you know the elements, you know, so you know light versus dark, you know, it's trying to kind of create balance and harmony within colours. Um, so it's all about that. I suppose I'd be very, then I'd kind of be more intuitive in letting whatever wants to come out reveal itself. Um, I keep staring at one of my paintings because that's where I went with that particular piece. Um, sometimes there's, a lot of the time, there's many failures, but they're the ones then that kind of give you the, uh, the spur you want to kind of want to make more. So this uh, is Ishka 3 and this is one of my newest works um, in my exhibition which originally was called Catalyst but it's kind of more different artists kind of had been added in over the, the weeks over the last three weeks since um, I'd opened. Um, I suppose I love this piece um, because it kind of really does echo what this whole experience has been like for me, really. Um, it's quite deep and there's a bit of a, a good bit of emotion and movement. And I suppose the obvious living in a leash, you know, this missing the coast, missing the ocean, which is a big part of my life, too. And um, being by the sea, 
and feeling that inspiration come through. So its name is Ishka 3 to kind of um, echo that. Pepper's Lane Art Gallery was very spontaneous, not like me at all, um, very spontaneous. I think it was a matter of a few clients wanted to see my work and I thought, well, rather than bring them to my kitchen table, I might kind of channel a bit of funds into a space. And luckily, um, when I approached the, uh, the powers that be, um, they were willing to kind of run with it. So this is a pop-up for three months. And then from there, I don't know, I might be back to my kitchen table. I think because for the last, what, 18 months, um, it's been very much making art on my own and feeling very kind of isolated a lot of the time, which suits me you know but uh it suits me fine a lot of the time but i feel it kind of got to the point where i knew i needed to be surrounded by like-minded people and so that's kind of what's happened i mean i feel the conversations of people that come in the door even if they don't understand abstract art they're they're still having the conversation which is important you know um i think my digital stuff is a lot more appealing to um the port leash folk or folks in general but um, I suppose that's kind of the risk you take you know not everyone's gonna like your stuff no matter what type of art forms you make so it's about just um, enjoying each conversation and even if people leave with uh, a wee bit more knowledge about mediums or techniques even then that's fantastic you know it's not all like for you know like any gallery it's not necessarily about the sales, which are great, but it's about having art visible in a community because I think, especially towns like Port Leash, I think it, it needs it. I think people are craving it and I think there needs to be more put into um, supporting that.